Hello, this is Barry Branton. Um, welcome to my video. Um, I want to talk about getting your CDL and why should you do it? So, why do you want to get your CDL? Well, think about it. Basically, it costs you I say 50 bucks on average to get the license and of course you need a Mac which uh, I think I pay about $80 which um, is more than the average uh, industry standard uh, because I I go to a specialist um, so getting back to why why do you want your CDL? Well, I think we've identified primarily a major reason is cost. When you compare what it costs to get a CDL as compared to, say, um, a college degree, um, there's no comparison. Uh, unless you're getting a degree in a STEM field, that's uh, science, technology, engineering, or math. Unless you're getting one of those degrees, you're pretty much wasting your money. So, that's my recommendation. Um, I might also add one of the reasons... You may want to avoid, pardon me, avoid or avoid going to college. Is um, student loan debt, which is can be quite considerable. Um, one of the things about one of the things about student loan debt is if you don't pay it, it never goes away. You cannot discharge a student loan debt with bankruptcy. So you could carry it forever. So my advice is stay out of debt. Stay out of debt. Okay. So if you're starting off and kind of young, a lot of people say, "Well, go to uh, go to trucking school." Well, that's like seven thousand dollars, and if you take out a loan, guess what? Student loan debt can't discharge it. You can't get rid of it with bankruptcy. You have to pay the money. So, what are your options? So, we want to know the options. The options are, well. Get a job driving. And you want to get trained. <laughs> Train or training for free or get paid to get training. That's what you want. So um, this I know is probably not very popular, but I think one of the best routes to get your CDL is to get a job driving a school bus. And generally, they will pay for your education um, or your training. Um, it's on-the-job training. Um, so that's what I did. I went to a local company where I live. They were advertising. They wanted drivers. I had had previous driving experience, and this was before the time of CDLs. This, I had a chauffeur's license. But I had driven a truck, so I told them, and, and they said, great, you're hired. Now study this. And they gave me a manual, and um, they said, come back to us after you pass the uh, uh, your general knowledge exam, your passenger endorsement exam, and your school bus uh, endorsement exam. And by the way, you have to go get a MEC. What's a MEC? MEC is your medical exam certificate 
or medical examiner's certificate. So that's basically, I think it's also called the DOT medical card. All right. And um, like I said, that can go between 30 to say a hundred bucks. Depending on who you get it from. All right. And then study. Um, and this is for a school bus. So you need, again, general knowledge, passenger, and um, school bus endorsement. Okay. Um, my school bus didn't have uh, air brakes. It's hydraulics brakes. So I did not have to study for the air brakes endorsement exam. Now, I know that's not true across the entire country so in that particular case um, you may have a company that has school buses that do have air brakes and in that case you would need to study uh, for the air brakes endorsement exam and you would also need to be tested on a vehicle that has air brakes okay so you can go one route you can go the school bus route you can also go um city bus um they need drivers and um uh, i'm not sure about the training but when i was doing my um uh, driving test for my uh, cdl license uh, i did see um, a, a city bus at the testing location and there was a young lady driving so uh, apparently, um, they do hire uh, men and women, but um, I was a little bit surprised. Um, so, they allow training in their, apparently, in their school buses or their city bus. All right, so the other option is if you want to drive big rig. And I've heard this um from other videos and i'll put a link in the description or a link in the comments uh to this video um, and this fellow said um you need to have a clean driving record and your regular um driving license needs to be in good order and he went to a company called cr england and he said that they paid his ticket and they gave him a bus ticket um to the company which has a school in it and they trained him for about six weeks and then they got him a cdl license and then he started driving for them and i think there's a requirement that you drive for them for at least two to three years i'm not really sure exactly but um if you do that then you don't have to pay the educational costs which is about on average, between three to four thousand dollars, from what I understood. So those are some routes that you can go. Um, uh, the other thing is, my the company that I work for now, they have school buses. Uh, if you go and study f the um, air brakes, they also have uh, coach um, coaches. You know, the, for long trips and that thing um so you basically get your air brakes endorsement and um then i guess once you get tested by the company they'll let you drive their their coach which is basically the size of a greyhound bus and that's another option is uh, once you get trained uh, driving um a coach bus you could probably get a job with a greyhound and that would probably be a good job probably better than working at a fast food uh, place or working as a stocker at a grocery store or something like that so um and then uh, i hear that some big rig operators can make pretty good money so uh, there's a lot of options and the great thing about this is you're not taking on any debt you want to stay out of debt um, save your money 
And then once you've got some money, put a down payment on, say, a fourplex, a piece of property that's going to be a passive income producer and generate passive income from you. And then if you have enough of those um, properties, you can stop working. You can just basically live off the passive income off your properties. So that's my advice. Um, I think it's um, a good plan. And, um, oh, pardon me. So thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I should should have prefaced in the beginning that I'm doing this all ad lib. And so uh, I'm going to make mistakes. And I do make mistakes in my video, by the way. Um, and I get a lot of messages about that. Sorry, you know, I'm not perfect. I do the best I can. Um, but I guess the main thing is, um, uh, number one, stay out of debt, stay out of debt. Um, unless it's good debt. Um, you might want to read Robert Kiyosaki. He defines good debt and bad debt. Basically your bad debt is debt that doesn't make you any money. And your good debt is money that, or debt that, makes you money like um getting a mortgage on a income producing property that would be a good debt a student loan my idea it's bad debt unless you're going into a stem field and stem fields are not easy so you've got to have good study habits good educational habits and don't go to college just to play around no you want to go there to get your degree and then and then get a good engineering job um and the other thing about the driving is you can start right away and um, just start doing it and start saving your money. I might also advise for the men, um, maybe it's not a good idea to get married. Um, you might want to wait maybe 10, 20 years before you do that. So uh, if you do decide to get married, but, you know, first off, build something for yourself. All right, so that's all I really have to say. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please uh, like and subscribe to my video, uh, to my channel, that is. And um, if you have a comment, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Okay, uh, by the way, I have a lot of videos in my playlist, uh, cover many topics. Um, so thanks a lot. Okay. All right. Bye now.